it is of course between today, tomorrow and day after that you are going to talk as to how these technology driven uh, platforms and also the tools that can be leveraged to make your profession a lot more efficiency driven, accuracy driven and also the quality of work because ultimately technology whether in manufacturing industries or in service sectors aims at improving productivity and I think that is the emphasis which I uh, put before you as one of the Sambhavna because the productivity gains which you are going to get out of technology and adaptation of technology is uh, something which is very uh, unique and that can only be felt when you get it. There is no way about, there is no way in which you can read about it and say, oh this is going to improve my productivity. No, when you do it, when you use it, when you adapt it, you realize how much of a change it can bring towards greater productivity. Now if you have more than 8 lakh students and 4 lakh members, it is going to be a big task for all of them to be drawn in with the same enthusiasm, but that's the work of the uh, institution, I would think. And also, I was already uh, reading and uh, fairly impressed about the fact that the Committee for Review of Education and Training, which used to take decades from the time it was announced to give a new uh, set of uh, curriculum, is now doing a very rapidly uh, short, collapsed kind of a job of when it was earlier, committees appointed, you take nine, eight, ten years to get a curriculum launched. Now it's all happening within three years, but I suppose with the use of technology that can even further shorten it. Uh, but of course there are newer areas, newer areas in which Chartered, chartered accountants will have to familiarize, familiarize themselves with the global developments. Not just to comply with their expectation, but also to better advise your clients on absolutely new greenfield areas, where they are, whether they are carbon accounting, whether they are CSR accounting and auditing for that, whether it is the ESG, the environment, social and governance related expectations on which now due diligence is so required by your clients for even negotiating for transfer of technology, for negotiating for funds, for negotiating with partnerships. So unless you are familiar with the newer growing areas and you understand what are the expectations and for all that, you know you may want to set up newer standards about which you were partly referring to, but in each one of these areas, you will have to set up best practices and also be able to, uh, you know, put the best efforts uh, on a best endeavor basis, but of course in the long run to make that as the template for everybody to follow. Therefore, a new course for CAs, which has been launched from 1st July, about which you referred, 2023, and that which is being planned to be implemented from the next year, 1st July 2024, is of critical relevance. So there is just no discussion on the Sambhavna, you will have to do it from 1st July 2024. So I think it's very important, and I recognize in the presence of the Education Minister, that the new scheme, the new ICAI course is very much in line with the new education policy. So, and when I say it is in line with the new education policy, what does that drive from the new education policy give you? What does it infuse you with? The focus is now more on how to learn rather than what to learn. That mindset of, you know, by heart everything and then you're through with it, no longer works. The new education policy gives that creative instinct to learning and therefore you want to know how to learn rather than just sections which you can by heart and get through with things. And therefore, it completely echoes a shift from what to think to how to think. So when you're looking at carbon 
accounting, when you're looking, you're looking at uh, social stock exchange and so on, it is the how which is going to matter when you're looking at keeping the books, advising your clients and also due diligence. So I have reasons to believe that these three days are going to give us a lot more information, post your discussions. I'm not going to get into greater matters of trust building with the clients, trust building with others, but I just want to highlight the number of countries with whom mutual recognition and MOUs for the profession is being signed. The government is very active in making sure that India's chartered accountants would be global leaders and you will have engagement with and you have engagement with your counterparts in the other countries and thereby giving the best knowledge and work experience that you have for others that who may need it. And Prime Minister Modi's vision that life, the, the lifestyle for environment, that all of us will have to nudge ourselves to do things differently so that we don't need energy whether it is uh, through renewable or otherwise, to do things which can be done without it. So we will have to move towards a more sustainable way of living. There are so many and more messages which are being passed through with these kind of campaign campaigns which are going on. You have constituted a sustainability reporting standards board which was done in 2020. Uh, and also sustain standards and sustainability assurance engagements uh, in January 2023, I think. So you have almost formulated 16 social audit standards. I recognize the work that has gone through there. I was for a minute earlier talking about the MOUs. I think <clears throat> in May, ICAI has renewed its MOU with the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales. There's also, you know, it might just be a coincidence, negotiations are happening for free trade agreement with the UK. The Commerce Ministry is engaging with them, so there's a lot for looking forward to working together with your counterparts in England. Other than that, the mutual recognition and MOUs with Australia, New Zealand, Ireland, Canada, Malaysia, UAE, Saudi Arabia, Qatar, Bahrain, Oman and South Africa should be absolutely fully leveraged. So India and its new economy is being driven by startups, driven by new age industries, driven by transitioning industry from the old ways of doing things to new ways of doing things. All of this requires your support, your hand-holding your clients, your nudging your clients to move towards greater technology. And all this is just going to be possible only if you are on the top of technology yourself for your profession. So I hope you will build on the successes of the World Congress of Accountants which was held in November 2022, you should strive to forge greater collaborations. The National Conference 2023 should also cover topics such as the GST, audit and direct taxes also. I wish you the Bhuvaneshwar and Orissa chapter and the president of the ICAE, Ranjit Kumar Agarwal and also Aniket Talati and Ranjit Kumar Agarwal, all the success and looking forward to a center of excellence in Orissa.